The Space Launch System is the main component of the Artemis program. Although, it's not reusable, it will serve as the main launch vehicle for the Gateway Logistics Services. Awaiting its maiden launch in August, SLS could pave way for the next generation space exploration. Okay, in this video, let's see the developmental history of SLS, from its state of announcement to its maiden launch. The Space Launch System is an American Super Heavy Lift expendable launch vehicle, under development by NASA since 2011. As of April 2022, the first launch is scheduled for no earlier than August 2022, pending the success of a wet dress rehearsal test. It replaces the Ares 1 and Ares 5 launch vehicles, which were cancelled along with the rest of the Constellation program, a previous program aimed to return to the Moon. The SLS is intended to become the successor to the retired Space Shuttle, and the primary launch vehicle of NASA's deep space exploration plans through the 2020s. Crewed lunar flights are planned as part of the Artemis program, leading to a possible human mission to Mars. The SLS is being developed in three major phases with increasing capabilities, Block 1, Block 1B, and Block 2. As of August 2019, SLS Block 1 launch vehicles are to launch the first three Artemis missions, and, five subsequent SLS flights are planned to use Block 1B, after which all flights will use Block 2. The SLS was created by an act of Congress, Public Law 111-267, in which NASA was directed to create a system for launching payloads, and, crew into space that would replace the capabilities lost with the retirement of the space shuttle. The act set out certain goals, such as being able to lift 130 tons or more of payload into low Earth orbit, a target date of December 31, 2016 for the system to be fully operational. On 14 September 2011, NASA announced their plan to meet these requirements, the design for the SLS, with the Orion spacecraft as payload. The SLS has considered several future development routes of potential launch configurations, with the planned evolution of the blocks of the rocket having been modified many times. Many options, all of which just needed to meet the congressionally mandated payload minimums, were considered, including a Block 0 variant with three main engines, a variant with five main engines, a Block 1A variant with upgraded boosters instead of the improved second stage, and a Block 2 with five main engines plus the Earth departure stage, with up to three J2X engines. In the initial announcement of the design of the SLS, NASA also announced an advanced booster competition to select which boosters would be used on Block 2 of the SLS. Several companies proposed boosters for this competition. Aerojet and Teledyne Brown proposed three booster engines each with dual combustion chambers. Alliant Tech Systems proposed a modified solid rocket booster with lighter casing, more energetic propellant, and four segments instead of five, and, Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne and Dynetics proposed a liquid-fueled booster named Pyreos. However, this competition was planned for a development plan in which Block 1A would be followed by Block 2A, with upgraded boosters. NASA cancelled Block 1A and the planned competition in April 2014, in favor of simply remaining with the Ares 1's five-segment solid rocket boosters, themselves modified from the Space Shuttle solid rocket boosters, until at least the late 2020s. On 31 July 2013, the SLS passed preliminary design review. The review included not only the rocket and boosters but also ground support and logistical arrangements. The overly powerful advanced booster would have resulted in unsuitably high acceleration, and would need modifications to launch Complex 39B, its flame trench, and mobile launcher. From 2009 to 2011, three full-duration static fire tests of five-segment solid rocket boosters were conducted under the Constellation program, including tests at low and high core temperatures, to validate performance at extreme temperatures. The five-segment solid rocket booster would be carried over to SLS. Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems has completed full-duration static fire tests of the five-segment solid rocket boosters. Qualification Motor 1 was tested on 10 March 2015. Also, Qualification Motor 2 was successfully tested on 28 June 2016. Blue Origin submitted a proposal to replace the exploration upper stage, with a cheaper alternative to be designed and fabricated by the company, but it was rejected by NASA in November 2019 on multiple grounds. These included lower performance compared to the existing exploration upper stage design, incompatibility of the proposal, with the height of the door of the vehicle assembly building, being only 390 feet, 
and unacceptable acceleration of Orion components, such as its solar panels. In mid-November 2014, construction of the first core stage hardware began using a new welding system in the South Vertical Assembly Building, at NASA's Mashad Assembly Facility. Between 2015 and 2017, NASA test-fired RS-25 engines in preparation for use on SLS. The core stage for the first SLS, built at Mashad Assembly Facility by Boeing, had all four engines attached in November 2019, and it was declared finished by NASA in December 2019. The first core stage left Mashad Assembly Facility for comprehensive testing at Stennis Space Center in January 2020. The static firing test program at Stennis Space Center, known as the Green Run, operated all the core stage systems simultaneously for the first time. The core stage was shipped to Kennedy Space Center to be mated with the rest of the rocket for Artemis 1. It left Stennis on April 24 and arrived at Kennedy on April 27. It was refurbished there in preparation for stacking. On 12 June 2021, NASA announced the assembly of the first SLS rocket was completed at the Kennedy Space Center. The assembled SLS is planned to be used for the uncrewed Artemis 1 mission in 2022. As of 2020, three SLS versions are planned, Block 1, Block 1B, and Block 2. Each will use the same core stage with its four main engines, but Block 1B will feature the exploration upper stage, and Block 2 will combine the EUS with upgraded boosters. While the first SLS for Artemis 1 is being prepared for launch, NASA and Boeing are constructing the next three, for Artemis 2, Artemis 3, and Artemis 4. As of July 2021, Boeing is also preparing to begin construction of the exploration upper stage, EUS, which is planned to debut on Artemis 4. As NASA is gearing up for its ambitious Artemis 1 mission, we hope that this video has provided you with must-know information about the SLS rocket, and its developmental history. Hope you got something new in this video, and, if you have enjoyed our video, then consider liking, and if you are interested in astronomy and physics, then make sure you subscribe our channel, and finally, share this video to your friends and let's meet in the next part. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing